Right, we're doing a Dragon Ball Super Card Game Battle. It is Majin Buu versus Finn, the Battle of Absorption. Uh, you were playing Green Buu. I was, yeah. I really enjoy Green Buu. It's really fun. Interesting. And what do you like about Green Buu? Uh, it's like weird, controly aggro. I don't, it does a lot of interesting mechanics. It's fun. I would beg to disagree. Anyway, <laughs> I was playing Blackfin, and I do not understand why this deck seems to have popularity. Um, it's very easy to uh, counter it by <laughs> just not playing, and there's a lot of decks in the current strategy that don't care. Yeah, I don't know. Pe like, Finn, people always say, oh, Finn, next meta, Finn. It just seems like such an underwhelming deck. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of decks. Uh, competitive decks that can just sit on the unison and sure if people say oh but Finn's got unison absorbed but that gives it back with two markers on it yeah it's it's not great and obviously it negates yeah. the skill but most people will just either will just put the, another unison on top and gain yeah. a marker and there's plenty of ways now alternative ways to gain a marker and mm. undo the unison absorbed so it's very underwhelming uh, yeah I just don't see why people are so keen on the deck, but mm. I tried the deck out. I tried it for myself to see what people um, had to love about it, and I didn't find out much. Now it might just be a case that it's just not for us. Like we all have preferences. I quite enjoyed Green Boo, but uh, I know some people wouldn't. Yeah, I mean I can see Green Boo having a lot of different things, but you can hold off the Fin deck for a while and stop him from awakening. Yeah. I'm actually uh, trying out a slightly different build of Green Boo at the moment. I'm going for the Vegito Unison rather than the standard Barbody Unison. Yeah, uh, it's pretty handy. Yeah, I think he's uh, quite underrated. You know, he's got that very nice plus two just to be able to give your things revenge if they ever get attacked. He's 15k, and his his minus that can be a win con. I mean, it's always great gaining advantage just off of the evolving. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you need, you need absorb. Uh, well, oh, sorry, yeah, union. union. Yeah, yeah. not evolve. Yeah. Um, obviously, you're playing him now, and you're going to gain an advantage from using unison. Yeah. Um. And I'll, okay, this is the very special. Uh, part yeah. Of the sadly, deck. I actually uh, misread and okay, put that out yeah. turn early. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But there we go. Going into the the good old four drop. Uh, this card's actually pretty good. You know, it's spirit boost to play a token. And then it can remove a token to save itself if you really want it to. Yeah, it's always handy. Um, there, it's just yeah. give you a better representation of a token. Um, awakens Lair. Hmm. And, you know, you're very much in the driver's seat awakening before Finn. Uh, the problem, obviously, is now you have a battle card out so Finn can actually yeah. finally evolve when you pass turn. Hmm. But. And like I could try and save it by using the token, removing that, but I was actually thinking it might just be better to just straight up let you take it early. Uh, that's kind of the thing, and obviously you just kind of want to progress the game so that you want to just, yeah. just you know, hold on to just whacking with unison and dragging out the battle. Uh, Finn obviously uh, can awaken it in a way doesn't necessarily need you to it's absorb a ball card to awaken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see at that point I was like, I actually think I might just want him to awaken at this point because if I if I just save the token, he's gonna just awaken standard wise and then just absorb the normal thing anyway. Yeah. Um I think Boo has got a lot more options than Finn. Finn kinda has to play towards what your opponent is doing. And if your opponent isn't doing much, then Finn really is just kind of stuck there. Yeah. You're kind of wasting time until you can try and get out your 8 drop. But even at that, if he doesn't have battle cards in the room, the boss monster for Finn isn't the strongest. It's another deck that kind of needs your opponent to do have stuff on board. Yeah. And uh, whilst the Green Boo deck doesn't have like a sole go to boss monster, it can just spam the board so much. But with the new promo, it gives access to the six cost. Yeah, that's this incredibly old broken black card that was yeah. previously impossibly hard to get out. Oceanus yeah. is not the black, card, black broken black card I was talking about, <laughs> but she is nuts. Yeah. Um, 
I think she's probably the second best floodgate of the of that kind of gate, and your opponent has to pay cost to continue attacking. Hmm. I don't think anything touches a robotic repost, but yeah, that's just that one's just so good. Um, but it's I think this is especially this format where you have U7 Goku and you have a lot of. Here we go. Here's the six draw. Up. Yeah, this card rediscovered. Uh. I can't wait to... I mean, this is what kind of makes me more interested in Green Boo is single, this card single-handedly. Uh, the fact that you can stop your car, uh, your opponent from adding cards from deck to hand, and he's a... was a 30k triple strike? He's a 20k base, but then he can pay free to make himself 30k triple. Yeah. Which is so strong. And he he's like Slug. When he's in rest mode, the opponent can't add cards or draw. But instead of having barrier, he has a permanent where this card can't be removed. Which means that just for so many decks, unless you're playing something that can negate his skills, he's he's never leaving the board. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, he is so tough to remove. I yeah. do a lot of attacks on him to try and mm. remove him, because I know when that triple strike comes true, it's, I have, I'm on three life mm. at the moment, so I know it's over for me if I don't remove him. Yeah. So I really do pull a lot of my bat attacks into it. Mm. And having him be an activate battle rather than an activate main is just so strong. Because you just you swing, if they negate, nothing happens. If they don't negate, you just kill them. Yeah. It'd be like that sometimes. Yeah. Um, unfortunately for me, I don't think I get through to the big, big ass boo. Uh, yeah. I wonder how consistent this is going to be going forward because I do think... I don't know if this is strong enough to uh, win a regional event or consistently do it, but how do you feel? Do you think you could take um, this to a regional event? I think I definitely could, but it's very... like, it draws a lot, but its problem would be a either a yellow matchup where they can negate its skills with something like Final Flash, or especially in a red matchup where they just minus everything, because minusing just gets around this card can't be removed. So, until U7 Goku's out of the meta, I don't think Boo can do that much, because it's just such a matchup check. Yeah, U7 Goku kind of just suppresses a lot of decks from breaking in, uh, just the fact that you can ignore barrier and minus. Yeah, and even though like you can say, yeah, Green Boo can eat the things from uh, Goku's drop area, because it's like on the front side four costs or less, you're not hitting anything too impactful in their drop area at that point. Mm. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's got a, a lot of answers. It can remove Boo probably a lot faster, and it can remove the- how much power does the promo card have? Promo card? I believe 20k. Okay, so it's, it can't be out by the Vegeta- or not the Vegeta- the, yeah, the Vegeta counterplay won't mm. stop it, but it could, it could probably stop it earlier. Mm. Um, and especially with this current state of green, of Dormant not being as good as it used to be. Yeah, green has really been shafted with bad staple cards. Recently, uh, anyway. Yeah, yeah, I think they got some good stuff in Rise of the Unison, and then after that it was... It's been downhill. Hmm. Like, they still have Charismatic Villain, one of the best counter plays ever made. But D Dormant's just not the card it used to be. Maybe it will come back, though. Um, you know, I mean, it's all format dependent, but we'd have to see the band. I bring out some heavy bands yeah. to bring green back at this point. I'm not, like, even looking at, I mean, obviously the green reveals of recording, of time of recording haven't been revealed yet, aside from green yellow stuff, but I'm not holding up much for cooler and meta cooler. Jeez, he is both green, I yeah, guess. he is both. I, I, I frankly, I just don't hold up much hope for him bringing green back. I could be wrong. Yeah. Uh, they have a habit of Frieza army cards being a bit busted. Yeah, they do like the Frieza clans to be pretty good. Well, yeah, yeah, it's the Frieza army, Frieza clan. Yeah. It's, it's so tough to. <laughs> yeah, but uh, for the moment, Finn's making a bit of a comeback. Oh, yeah, I'm just going all out, yeah. just trying to get rid of that. Bloody Colossus. Yeah. <laughs> Boo. Uh, yeah. That's how you know we used to play Yu-Gi-Oh, right there. <laughs> it's just a ginormous pain in my backside, oh, nice. just knowing that triple strike's coming. Mm. Also, just not being able to super combo or draw. 
Yeah, that killed me. It was when I super comboed and then didn't get to draw two. Um, but yeah, it's just absorbed so many attacks. This cell coming on my heart doesn't help me at all. Mm. Having to get rid of a card. And ripping another copy of an eight drop. Yeah. yeah. This, to some degree, I should have just focused on the leader, but I just didn't think you'd have this much freaking protection for it. Mm. Oh, I knew at this point I was like, I have to just focus on saving the six drop. Like, that's my win con at this point. And now I. Yeah, just. Um. I hopefully just go for game with the six drop at this point. And you stand and then you attack for game? Yeah, attack for game. 